Keep your heads lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Our redemption draweth near. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Micah 6, 8. He has shewed thee, O man, what is good and what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. And praise God for all of you brothers and sisters living humbly and walking in truth and sticking to the script, the scripture, the word. Jesus Christ is perfect. And he said, and behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. And most of you know, Jesus Christ is not talking about salvation here. He's talking about rewards for working for him, for being his vessel. Jesus Christ never lies. He will not lie. And his reward is with him to give every man according as his work shall be. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. The word is perfect and it is very clear. Again, Jesus Christ never lies, so do not let people discourage you from working for the Lord. This is the Great Commission. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. And I don't follow people, I follow Jesus Christ. I stick to the script the best I can. And he asked Peter, do you love me, Peter? And Peter said, you know I love you, Lord. And he said, then feed my sheep. And all glory to our Father. Praise God for you, family. I'm putting together another 48 backpacks and getting ready to hit the streets again. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And nothing can stop me but Jesus Christ. And we will be tested. Our faith will be tested. We will be tried. We will be persecuted for walking in truth and working for the kingdom. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. You will be tried. Your faith will be tested. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So stay in the word, family, and keep increasing your faith in him. Because all of our faith is on trial. And all of our faith will be tried with fire. And we're all saved by grace through faith. So please hold on to your faith because in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And if it's not written in the word of God, we do not want it. We do not want to even hear it. Miss me with anything that's not written. And remember to put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And don't forget, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand... Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with the truth, 
and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And there's no reason to change the word of God. It's perfect just the way he had it written. And no one can explain it better than the word. And keep praying always with prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And all glory to our Father, I put on the whole armor every day. And Christina and I used to every day together when we prayed together. And I still remember Christina praying for all the saints, and I still say the same prayer. And she would pray for all the saints that God would raise them up, and take their hearts of stone and turn them to hearts of flesh. So do not let your hearts grow callous, family. Do not let your hearts wax cold. Pray and ask Jesus Christ to give you a heart for the things that he has a heart for. Stick to the scripture and keep pushing, family. We're almost home. And Jesus Christ said, There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Can you hear Jesus Christ? His sheep hear his voice. And the word is true and the sign shall be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. So that's where we're headed. And as you can see right here, it says solar flare and CME. Unstable sunspot AR-3575 erupted on February 6th today at 3.30 universal time. And in Strong's Greek 3.30, the definition is to revive. I thrive or flourish again, revive. Well, here's what's super gigantinormous. It's sunspot 3575. You can see it right there in the bottom right-hand corner, 3575. And in Strong's Greek, 3575, the definition is Noah. Like Noah's Ark, like the flood. And when you go to the Nineveh eclipse on 4-8, you can see the moon is right on top of the sun next to what they call Mercury. Right next to the minor planet, Flood which is right next to Venus. The signs are completely off the charts, family. Not only is Flood right there, Noah's right there. Noah, Cain. And you already know, Noah was righteous, and that's why God had him build the ark and saved his family, all eight of them. In this Nineveh eclipse, there's another Nineveh, which makes eight places called Nineveh, like eight people in the ark. And you already know who Cain is, because God said he wanted a blood sacrifice, and Abel gave him one, but Cain didn't. So this should tell you to hold on to your faith and his blood that cleanses us of all unrighteousness when we believe in him and hold on to our faith. And I showed you, Groom is right there under the eclipse, next to the, the Groom. Well, here's where it gets beyond gigantinormous. I showed you that there's exactly 40 days between this eclipse and Pentecost. And Pentecost is the Feast of Weeks. And Weeks is right there with Groom, family. You cannot make this up. This is God's design. He put the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars right there so we could see what's happening. And I'm being filled with the Holy Spirit. Praise you, Father. And right underneath that is true blood. And the truth is, his blood has washed us and made us white as snow. So hold on to your faith. It's true. And follow the champion, Jesus Christ, our bridegroom. The good shepherd, Jesus Christ. And like he said, carry your cross daily and deny yourself and follow him. The divine messenger. 
and his message to the church. He will be coming out of his chambers to collect everyone with the Holy Spirit. At the appointed time, the end date. And I showed you all glory to our father. Daniel is right there too. Right in the eclipse. And Paul is right there too. Right next to Asia. The very place that Paul traveled through. And the rapture is close. And the minor planet star asteroid close is right there next to Jupiter too, family. We are almost home. And house is right above chambers. Right next to Amos. And I made this picture so you guys could share it. All glory to our father and everyone could see where the signs are. And there's much more here. As you can see, Swassman Walkman, which means water watchman, is right next to the eclipse too. And right under that is Russia. And right above that is China. And right below that is Dragonera. And right below Dragonera is Damash Chegolov. And Damash literally means Damascus, family. And I showed you, spirit is right there next to Rehoboth. And right under that is Booth. And under that is Ruth. And right above that is Life's Son. And right above Jupiter is Beryl. And Daniel said that he seen God's body and it looked like Beryl. The signs are completely lined up with what they call the planets, the wandering stars. They're all lined up with this eclipse and these signs, family in Jesus Christ. Keep your heads up. We're getting ready to depart for eternity and be with Jesus Christ for eternity. For I reckon the sufferings of this present time shall not be compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. So hold on to your faith, family, and do not quench the spirit. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ and you'll walk on water.